Hi, this is John from Soundcraft and welcome to the UI Series tutorials. In this instalment, I'm going to cover UI Series advanced settings. For this demonstration, I'm using a MacBook Pro, a Chrome browser and a Soundcraft UI 16. Let's log into the mixer. Go to the settings icon in the top navigation panel and ensure that the settings tab is selected. This page displays all the options for your UI series mixer and user interface. Let's start with the global settings. The global settings configure certain hardware options of your UI series mixer. Any settings modified here are reflected in sync with all other connected devices. The first option is a really valuable tool. It allows you to change the headphone output into an additional two OGS outputs. This effectively means that a UI16 would now have six OGSs instead of four. Let's take a look. If I go out to the mixer and select OGS Masters, you can see I've got four. If I go back to settings and change the mode of headphone out from Master Solo to OGS, go back out to my mixer, I now have six auxiliaries. The next option is for solo routing. This is for selecting the destination of your solo signal. Note that when the headphones are in OGS mode, the options are disabled or sending the solo signal to the master outputs. When the headphone outputs are configured in master solo or normal headphone mode, the solo routing options are headphones or master plus headphones. The solo mode is the next option. You can select single or multiple. This is for when you're in the mixer and you want to select either single solos, one at a time, or you'd like to be able to select multiple solos. The last option is the global record mode. You can select 32-bit, 24-bit or 16-bit recording modes. The next section relates to GUI performance. These options allow you to scale down the demands of the user interface on poor performing devices. You can adjust the frame rate, disable retina support, disable rescaling and disable the LED meters. Scrolling down the page, next up are the local user settings. These options allow each user to define how certain user interface elements are presented to them during their mix session. First up is the master lock. When activated, it prevents accidental adjustment of the master fader level. You can see it's active with the small lock icon on the bottom of the master fader channel strip. You can override the lock by long clicking on the fader cap before you make your adjustment. Next is meter quantization. When activated, the VU displays values in full LCD blocks. When deactivated, there is a much finer resolution. The fader glow setting has three options, off, thin or normal. And this refers to the fader glows that can be found on the mix page, like these ones here. Next up is the high compressor gate, on or off. You can hide or show the compressor gate display that can be found at the bottom of channel strips on the mix page. You can dim the LED meters, on, off, changes the intensity of the color of the VU. The pin slide out in mix mode and pin slide out for OGS and effects sends allows you to always have the slide out panel open when you're on the mix page, the OGS sends page, or the effects sends page. Without that option selected, you would manually open and close the slide out panel to gain access to its feature set. The kinetic scroll option allows you to set how the interface scrolls channel strips in the mix page, the OG sense page and the effects sense pages. It can be a good idea to disable this on slow devices. Mixer scrolling can also be controlled by one finger or two fingers and you can turn on or off a pattern background like the texture we have here. The utility section has two buttons for import and export of all your presets. 
connect USB media to your UI series mixer and you can import presets. I'll cancel that for now. Or you can export all your presets, select a USB device and export. Next up is the button function area. The F1 and F2 function buttons are the buttons that are found at the top of the master channel strip here and here. You can assign a different function to those buttons. Lastly is the language selector. Currently we have English and Chinese. That's it for the UI series advanced settings. I'm John from Soundcraft and thanks for watching.